Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details about clinometers and its applications in the field of metrology. So let us start with the introductory part of the clinometers. So basically the clinometers that will be used as a special case of applications of a spirit level. So spirit level that will be used to measure the level with respect to the surface of the horizontals as a standard or you can say as a specified surface or you can say as a reference surface. So in case of this instrument, it will be used for measuring angle relative to the horizontal plane, the various types of kilometers as under. So first one, vernier clinometers, second micrometer clinometers, third one dial clinometers and fourth one optical clinometers. So as per the different ranges and the applications it will be like to use the clinometers in the field of metrology. Now we will discussing the clinometers just you can see it is the basic construction of the clinometers. So this is my base which will be directly fix or resting onto the surface of the workpiece or the machine table. And this is the spirit table which will be inbuilt facility. It will be available into the clinometers. So that will be help for easily positioning with the reference place as a horizontal plane. And just you can see around this it will be my angle scales. So that will be used for the taking a readings while into the measurement. This is the lock nut key. Whenever you will set these clinometers onto the surface of the workpiece material, it will be unhold and after getting the positioning. So just you can lock the key and you can take the readings. So taken the readings, it will be just you can use the eyepiece over here and here that will be the fine adjustments. So this is the basic construction of clinometers. Now, just you can see, as we already discussing, this is the special case of instrument and it will be available with the facility of spirit level. So while the spirit level is restricted to relatively small angles, clinometers can be used for much large angles. So that will be one of the advantages of the clinometers. It comprises a level mounted on a frame so that the frame may be turned on an any desired angle with respect to the horizontal surface. So this is my angular scale and after unlocking this key so it will be free to rotate. So you can easily set on anywhere onto the workpiece materials but just it will be measured always with respect to the horizontal references. So clinometers are used to determine the straightness and flatness of any kind of surface. Either it will be the workpiece surface, either it will be also used for the alignment test and they are also used for setting the inclinable tables on a zig boring machines and angular jobs on surface grinding machines. So these all are the different applications it will be used into the measurement even into the machining processes. After this just you can see these clinometers also provide with the superior accuracy as compared to the ordinary spirit levels is being used for the measurement. So for the measurement with the clinometers the base is always kept onto the surface of the workpiece. So it will be resting either you can use the clamps or you can use the bolts to resting onto the workpiece surface and uh, this lock nut that will be loosened during the measurement and the dial that will be free to circulate gently rotated until the bubble of the spirit level that will be approximately at the center. So this is the basic process of the setting of the clinometers onto the workpiece surfaces. 
Now the lock nut is tightened and the fine adjustment nut is operated until the bubble is exactly at the center of the wire scales. So in case of the reading, then that will be viewed through this eyepiece that we already discussing and the most of the clinometers in the metrology laboratories provide the readings up to an accuracy of 1 inch and uh, precision clinometers can be used if the accuracy is required up to the 1 minute. After this, this is the basic constructions. But the nowadays the recent advancement into the clinometers that will be available with the electronic clinometers and that will be having a highly sensitive and it will be saved the time during the measurements. So in case of the electronic clinometers, it consists of the pendulum whose displacement is converted into the electrical signals by a linear voltage differential transformer. So this provides the advantages of the electronic amplifications as well as that will be also increasing the sensitivity of the instruments. So if you minor change into the input, so that will be directly reflected onto the output. So that will be also powered by electronic chips that has the provisions for recording the data analysis. So electronic clinometers have the sensitivity of one minute. A major advantage of these clinometers is that the reading settled down within the one second in contrast to the mechanical types that we already discussing that will be reducing the measurement time which requires a couple of seconds for reading to settle down. After this, just you can see the different uh, clinometers. So this is the surface or you can say base that will be resting on to the workpiece material and this is the inbuilt facility with the spirit tables. So according to the shape and size of the workpiece, it will be reflecting onto that and from this you can take the readings. So this is another example of the clinometers. So this is the measurement for an angles. So you can easily adjusting with respect to the horizontal surfaces and with the help of these spirit levels you can measure the flatness straightness onto the workpiece material and that will be also used for the alignment test after this as you can see this is the another example for measurement uh, height of the tree so let's take a one examples here that will be the reader or you can say observer is there and he has a one clinometers it will be look like this so this is the pan tube or you can also take the straw so with the help of your eye you can easily see through this straw or you can say by pan tube and this kind of protector it will be mounted onto the straw and at the center of the straw as well as from the protector it will be having a one string is there and at that particular with respect to the weights so according to the weight and these strings it will be moving so once you start your observing from this side so you can easily find the top of the tree so just you can see over here this is the person who are taking the readings so from this row or you can say pen tube, he will directly see the topmost height of your tree. And just yes, you can measure the distance from the root of the tree to your person. So this B distance. And this is the measurement with the help of such kind of clinometers. So the height of the person that will be A and distance from the tree to person it will be B and just you can take the reading from these protectors so you can easily measure the height so this is the reference distance from tree to person and this is the angle it will be there so as per the 
साइन थीटा और कन से साइन थीटा इक्वल टू एच अपॉन एल सो डायरेक्टली यू कैन यूज दैट इक्वेशंस एंड आफ्टर गेटिंग द एब्सोल्यूट हाइट सो द टोटल हाइट इट विल बी लाइक फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट इट विल बी एक्स सो यू आर टेकिंग द रीडिंग फ्रॉम दिस सो द एब्सोल्यूट हाइट इट विल बी एक्स माइनस दिस ए हाइट सो दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ ए ट्री विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्लिनो मीटर्स सो दिस इज द अनदर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द बेजिक एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द क्लिनोमीटर्स If you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials thank you so much and keep watching